What's going on everybody? I'm Selma Kim, America's face of dating. And in case you guys are new to my channel, I help guys who are recently out of a divorce or a breakup or guys who have just been getting rejected and they can't seem to really be likable around the girls they deserve and want. I help you guys actually attract your dream relationship and get that quality girl. And today we're gonna be talking about some points around that. And it is secure your dream girl, immediate must do actions. And disclaimer, let's just jump into it. This doesn't matter if you've been through a breakup or a divorce or a bad rejection. Rejection. Let's say, and this will work if you apply everything I talk about. If you apply everything I talk about, it's impossible to not get your dream girl. There's so many guys out there that just don't know this. They think they're too manly, right? And they're just like, oh, I'm so manly. I don't need dating advice. It's not manly at all. It's so like, don't learn this stuff. It's no wonder why, you know, the divorce rate is now skyrocketing over 50, even 60% in some cases now that it's just jumping to. It's because a lot of guys don't want to learn this stuff. And so most guys don't know this stuff. They're going to keep getting rejected. That's just how it's going to go. So, you know, thank yourself that you're an action taker and learning this right now. So you're going to be learning from the success of my clients of how they might have been boring, awkward, even uncomfortable at times around women they wanted. Now they're fucking crushing it. So let's jump into these must do actions. And the first one is your purpose plus your priorities, right? The double P, the PP, real mature, right? So purpose plus priorities. You need to have your health and your purpose put first before relationships, right? That doesn't mean that, you know, like you always Always put it there. It's just 80% of the time, your health and your purpose come first. And especially right now, if you guys are just getting back into it, it needs to come first. And you really need to dial that in and get that in order. I'm not saying when you're in a relationship, let's say like your future wife, she's pregnant and she's literally about to have a kid with you, right? Her water breaks, she's about to have a kid. And you're like, whoa, 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 hold on. I need to make my green drink and then I'll take you to the hospital, right? Like there's certain exceptions that you put first, right? But the moment you put that girl first before these things, like you will lose. And especially the majority of the time, she will lose attraction for you. Why is that masculine energy versus feminine energy? Women will test you throughout the entire relationship to see if you give up your purpose for her, right? A lot of guys don't know that. A lot of guys change who they are to please the girl, think it's going to please the girl. And then she ends up just leaving him, right? A lot of guys are left there like, what the fuck happened? What happened, right? Women love a decisive, clear-cut man who knows exactly what he wants. She may not like it in the moment, but she will respect you. And what this basically means is like, I'll give you an example. Even in my relationships, there's times where like I have have to put my purpose first, serving my clients and doing my business and even just making a greater income happen. And there's certain times my girl might want me to do something, but I'm just like, yeah, I'll do that later because this needs to come first right now, right? And girls, a lot of the time, they may not like it in the moment, but later on that night, they're going to fuck you harder than they ever have, you know, to be frank about it because they're like, hey, you know what? I respect this guy. Like he's putting this first and most likely it's putting it first for us. So that's what this means right here. She may not like it in the moment, but she will respect you and love you more for that, right? Do not date. This is major for you guys. Do not date yet if you're broke, right? You're struggling to check the check, you know, and especially if you're cheap. Do not date yet, right? You won't be able to date if you're worried about paying for a date. It's as simple as that. You won't be able to date if you're worried about paying for a date. You see occasionally a guy who is broke, getting drunk, right? He's just like a bag in the wind, dude. Like just flying around, dude, just has no control, but he's swiping through Tinder, right? What girl would ever fucking want that? He's broke, he's getting drunk, he has all these fucking problems, he's a bag flying in the wind, and he's like, man, I just can't seem to get my quality relationship. No fucking shit. Who would want to date you? If you were you, ask yourself a serious question right now. If you were a chick and you met yourself, would you want to date yourself? Yes or no? If the answer is, if you have to even think about that, you got to level up, right? It's just as simple as that. And here's some proof of concept that this actually works, right? Here's me pre-heartbreak here on the left. Uh, that's not the girl I was with. <laughs> that was actually one of my friends, but it was just a pick back in 2017. I don't really talk to this guy anymore, or like that group. That's a whole other story. There's a bunch of fuck boys. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I need to ascend out of this, right? And just go to greater heights, which I obviously have. So, but that was back in me 2017. I was about to go through a major heartbreak and, you know, I didn't have my priorities straight, right? I was putting the girl first and, you know, the whole drill. Me on my right, me dating Brittany, my dream girl right there. And as I was swimming with a dolphin in Cabo, like traveling the world, having fun, doing amazing, awesome things. And and, you know, part of what helped me get my dream relationship is that she actually approached me. It's because, you know, I went to Mexico and that's where we met was actually in Mexico. And I was writing my book at the time. You know, I was on my laptop, literally just like out there in Mexico, having pina coladas for like a week, writing my book, open up the Word doc. Okay, we're on chapter six. Okay, we got to add this part, but move and type in that shit in there, right? I was really like adjusting the stuff, getting it going. And that's where I actually met her and we hit it off. We've been dating for three and a half years now. It's been fucking amazing. It's a dream. But number two, 
and this is incredibly important for you guys, you need to delete dating apps, okay? You're telling me you want your dream girl, your dream girl, right? And you're swiping on Tinder? <laughs> it's like an oxymoron, right? It's like jumbo shrimp. It's just totally opposite, right? The worst thing you could ever do if you're trying to get back into it is download Tinder. Like your dream girl right now on Tinder is talking to also, let me remind you, 80 other guys on Tinder or dating apps. I can't stand dating apps. It's the clearance rack for human beings. And like I said, like you're telling me you want your dream girl but you're on Tinder, you should just smack yourself. Dating apps will make fake profile profiles too in order to keep you thinking you got something. It's just a total waste of time. And most of you are on dating apps because in person interactions are awkward around girls that you find quality. There's a reason that she's on Tinder, right? She's hiding something. And there's a reason that you are on Tinder for the same fucking reason, right? If you want to get quality, you have to be quality. And a lot of guys are hiding something. That's why they're on Tinder, right? Like the drunk guy example who's a fucking bum. What's he hiding? His shitty life behind him. <laughs> That's what he's hiding. If you want quality, then you need to be quality and learn the fundamentals to attraction, right? Learn the fundamentals. Like these guys in my program right here, Ian, literally came from a divorce. He said, just had a good day with a beautiful brunette I met last night. She came, picked me up at my house, made out afterwards. Like it's as simple as that. He was like, dude, like literally he just joined like two weeks ago. And then he was like, dude, like I'm struggling with my confidence. Like it's hard to approach chicks. Lily had a date with a girl he met like a week or two in the program. Like it's literally so easy to learn natural attraction. This is another wins from the Wind Channel Weston. Had an amazing trip to Scottsdale with the most recent girl I've been seeing. A little driving to McLaren, I believe that is, with this chick just having fun. Like literally before he joined the program, he said it was impossible for him to like get past like a five or a six. Now look at him, just fucking crushing it. Here's Lance here, just crushing it also. He's like, I'm starting to see new people every day, opening everyone I come into contact with and honing my diet and exercise. You know, he's rebuilding his life after a breakup and a divorce. That's what a lot of you guys have to do is rebuild your life. He's been so consistent in the program. I'm very excited to see what happens in the next 30 to 60 days with him. He's going to meet a great chick and just crush it. Like he came from a divorce just like Ian did too. It's literally so easy once you learn the fundamentals to this stuff. Most guys are fucking around on dating apps, doing dumbass pickup lines. Just like, don't be that guy. If you're watching my channel, I can't believe you're even that guy to begin with. So the final one here is do not chase, attract. So many of you tell me that you feel uncomfortable around girls. Do not use pickup lines, right? They're not going to help. Instead, you need to assume that the interest is mutual. You make yourself believe that you're awkward because you think she's not interested, but assuming she is interested will cause you to spit gold. For example, like I got this test all the time back in the day. I used to be really skinny, 160 pounds. Like I think I was actually 140 or 50. I was 6'2", 140 or 50 pounds. I was malnourished technically. And girls would be like, you have no ass, right? You have no ass. And they'd be teasing me and testing me. And before that would have gotten me pissed off. But then I learned, I was like, they're just testing me, right? Assume attraction because they like me. They're, they're staring at my ass, right? It's another comeback you could say. Girls like, you have no ass. I'm just like, I thought you were checking me out back there. You could say that or you could be like, oh my gosh, we're twins. She'd be like, what? I have an ass. It'd be hilarious. So, I mean, I used to chase women that didn't want me. And it was what I was programmed to do, right? Attached to my outcome, I had this varsity football story where it's like, I literally trained for four years leveling myself up to this varsity football starter. And my senior year came where I thought I was going to start and then they recruited two other kids to come in and take my spot. You know, I go to my coaches. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I've been a tackling dummy for four years, man. Plus that, you know, it's like, why? Like, what do I have to do to even just get some playing time just to get on the field? Like, I don't have to be a starter. You just put me in like for a quarter or some shit. I'll be fine with that. Like, I know I'm 6'2", dude. You know, I got like decent hands. I know I'm not fucking useless. You know what I mean? Like, put me up the middle or something, man. Put me on a fade. I'll just let me jump. Like, I'm 6'2", brother. Like, if you can't do anything with 6'2", you're fucking stupid. Like, just figure out something. You know what I mean? They're just like, dude, sorry. There's just nothing you can do. You know, you don't have what they have. And when they said that, it crushed me, dude. I was crying. And, you know, I, I just literally sat the bench. Didn't get any playing time that year at fucking all. Just sat the bench and just watched. Just my senior year just wasted. They put me back on JV to, like, practice with the practice squad. Right? And then I just sat the bench on the games. It was fucking terrible. And just, it crushed my spirit. It really got me in this weird pattern where I started chasing people that would reject me or tell me no. Because I think that a lot of the time, like, I was trying to really gain back, like, what I felt I lost that senior year of high school. I thought I was gonna have that woman, right? And she says no, and I keep chasing her, right? I kept chasing, trying to get that spot on varsity. And I was just chasing something that was just wasn't gonna happen. And it's like, you gotta ask yourself, confident men, how do they act, right? If you had everything you wanted, would you be saying what you're saying now to that chick, right? Would you be doing what you're doing now? Would you be chasing her so hard? It's just another client result. Nick struggled with the same thing, you know, chasing, becoming attached, and Lou, look at him now, join a CrossFit gym. I have all the ladies talking about Nick, the new guy there, and he's a date lined up for Wednesday. He's actually been seeing this chick. This is an older win. He's been seeing this chick for three weeks now, I believe. So it's fucking epic, man. If you guys struggle with attracting your dream girl, and it's like you want to be, you know, the next client that I spotlight here, you know, and talk about, because if you come into the program, you're going to crush it. Like, especially if you know you're ready to change, something has to change. There's a call link in the description below. Book in a call with me. We'll hop on a call, talk about my program. We'll get you onboarded literally right there on the call. And a lot of guys are worried about the price. It's 3.5K on the call.
call. On my website, it's 5.3, but on the call, it's 3.5. And there's actually options to break that down to like as low as 120-ish per month. We partner with somebody who will let you do that. And so if you guys know something has to change and you're ready to change, like let's get you going in the program, man. Like stop fucking around and really take this seriously, man. Time is just too short and time is not going to fix dating issues, man. I've tried, trust me, for like a decade. It didn't work. So you have to learn the fundamentals. And if that's you and you know something has to change, let's get on that call and get you going. You can even go to Instagram or Facebook and the link in the description below, my Instagram, Facebook, talk to me personally also. I'm Sona Kim, America's face of dating, and I'll see you guys in the next video.